Ah, y'all, what's up, man? What's up, what's up, what's up? My name is Saber. Saber Muhammad. I'm gonna turn this light off so that these folks can't see me. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, I got a job. I got a couple jobs, actually. Tell y'all a little bit about me. I got a couple jobs, man. 20 years old. I work at a long place. I ain't gonna say the name of the job. I work at H&M, and I work at Mapco, right? And I also happen to run track, man, and I've been out of school for so long, and I'm trying to run track, man. I love to run. Got to get back on the track, man, but, you know, I'm going to save it for another video, but, you know, kind of got busy. My life got out of whack because, you know, I um, had a girlfriend, and I wanted to see her, you know. I was in school, walked on to the track team. Uh, I'm supposed to be focused on work, you know, I'm more focused on other things. So I got me a car. And uh, yeah, now, I bought, you know, about a year ago, I bought a $15,000 car, uh, not expecting to be struggling as much as I was. So I had to pick up some extra hours, man. So. Now I work a shit ton. Like I said, I got three jobs. I gotta cover that up. I'm gonna have to get that out of here. But, uh, yeah, man, life is freaking crazy. And I basically just wanted to start a video log so people can just see what it's like to walk in the life of Sabir Muhammad, man. It's crazy. It's crazy life. Beautiful, though. You know what I mean? I'm a. Uh, grateful for everything that I've been through because I understand that all of our experiences shape who we are as people and without those experiences we wouldn't be the great people we are today you know or at least the great person I am you know if y'all not great y'all working towards it and, and it's and uh I'm just so positive you know even though I work you know I work 76 hours a week when I train for track it's at least 30 miles a week, you know. I mean, usually it's around 40, 45. I've been slacking it. But, um... Sorry, I, I got off track. It's around 40 to 45 usually, but... Uh, you know, I've been focused more on speed or whatever. Anyway, this is a video log about my life, my journey through life, me learning, my learning experiences. Right now I'm trying to get waves. I saw some people talking about 360 waves, so I'm trying to get some 360 waves. I used to have a high top, but couldn't maintain it, man. Couldn't maintain it. So now I'm trying to learn main, learn how to maintain short hair. Get some waves in there, man. The only reason I had a high top, you know, because everybody gets harder. <laughs> Short haircut, man. But anyway, this is my video log, fool. So, you know, welcome to my life. And hopefully, my goal is to inspire people, man. I, I want y'all to see how my life is going to change. I, I believe it's going to change so much. So, so, so much. It's going to change a lot. I promise you, it's going to change a lot in six seven months shit it's gonna change a lot in three weeks it's gonna change a lot in two weeks so i'm gonna try to be making daily uh vlog videos you know just to show y'all what it's like you know what i'm saying and then inspire motivate you know and uh hopefully teach some people man uh this is what my dream my goal is to one day be on a big stage man i just want to be on a big stage I want to inspire people, I want to motivate people, I want to entertain people, and I want to be successful, you know, I want to uh, own businesses, I want to make money, make, have my money making itself, man. One thing I've learned from working 76 hours a week is that... It's not good to be tired when you're going into your night shift job. Hell no. 
And one thing I've learned from working 76 hours a week, man, it's not worth it, man. Working so, 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 so much. I don't care if I'm making $70,000 a year, you know. If I'm slaving and I can't do what I love, man, I'm not happy. I'd rather make $40,000 a year doing what I love. Or $35,000, you know, doing what I love. You know what I'm saying? So, that's, that's my first lesson. If you out there getting a check, I don't care how big or small your check is. I'm not getting no real, real, real big checks. But, I mean, for my lifestyle, I feel like it's big. And, and honestly, who can, who can measure how big a salary is? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can say you're making a million dollars a year. Yeah, you know, that's, that's a shit ton. But if somebody making a hundred million thousand, you know, dollars a year, what's, what's the difference? It just depends on you. You the difference. So, you know what I'm saying? I I don't want to struggle doing what I love, but I'd rather struggle doing what I love than... Or be comfortable doing what I love, excuse me, than have money to buy everything in the world, but hating what I do. You know what I'm saying? Not being able to enjoy my time with my family. Working 60 hours a week, you know, uh, never seeing the family, just hustling and bustling, but it's not what you love. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> At the end of the day, I promise you. Hold on, let's see if this light looks good. I'm sorry, yeah. Oh! Yeah, that light looks a little better, I guess. Oh, damn, hold on. At the end of the day, y'all, if you're not doing what you love, you're not going to be happy. I don't care how much money you make. You could be a millionaire. If you're not happy, I don't want to be you. No. If you don't feel uh, what I always tell my girlfriend. I've been telling her lately because I just recently learned this, man, from working so much. Like I said, and I'm blessed to have learned this so young. You know, I, I'm still pretty young to, to learn this. A lot of people don't learn this ever. A lot of people never figure this out. I'm saying I'm 20 years old and I know for a fact that I want to do what I love. I want what I love to make money. Fuck anybody that says it can't. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to find a way because I just got that hustle. I got that grind, that, that spirit. You know, and like I said, even if I'm only making $35,000 a year, if I'm doing what I love, I'm, I'm cool with it. You know what I'm saying? And eventually you, you keep doing that. You keep, you keep figuring out new ways to do what you love and make more money. That, that money gonna multiply, I, I promise you. I bet. I bet. And if it don't, so what? Like I said, I'll be happy with 35000 You know what I'm saying? But uh, what I always tell my girlfriend is uh, you will never be happy until you have some type of personal fulfillment. Everybody needs to have, to feel like they've accomplished what it is that they want to accomplish. And you can only, if you're working towards goals that are other people's goals for you, goals that, or they just don't really matter to you, they're not really significant, that's only going to make you happy for so long. Think of it like this. Think of, think of high school, you know, grad, you, or no, 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 I'm sorry, not high school. All right, think of it like this. Let's say your mom or your dad, you know, they want you to be a cop, right? Let's say, you know, Sabir, I want you to be a cop. You know, uh, we, we've been cops in our family. I want you to be a cop, you know. Uh, it's a good career. You'll, you'll be set for life. I want you to be a cop. All right. You don't want to do it, but you're like, you know what? Fine, I'll do it. All right, whatever. So you go to, I don't know how the fuck being a cop works. Shit, honestly, I don't... <laughs> It really don't fucking matter. But you go to the fucking police academy, right? You graduate that shit. Yeah, when you graduate, you're like, oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm feeling good. Yeah, bitch. I just graduated. Fuck you, man. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to be fucking happy. Damn right. You should be happy, right? But how long do you think that shit going to last? Yeah, you might, happy. you might be happy for a week. You might be happy for two, three months, maybe even a year. But if you don't love being a cop, after three years, four years, five years, six years, ten years of that shit, you hate that fucking job. 
I'm like, man, fuck, uh, fucking police academy, right? Like, fuck that shit. <laughs> because that's not what you want to do, because you don't feel fulfilled. That's not your true passion. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you wanted to be a painter, now, now, now let's look at this other end of, of the spectrum. If, I don't know if that's the right words. Honestly, y'all, I'm kind of educated. I ain't going to act like... Don't don't come at me thinking, oh, this nigga think he know what the fuck he talking about. Bitch, I do know a little bit of something. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know everything. So if I use the wrong word, you, you know what? You can tell me in the comments. You know, let me know just so that next time I can know. Because I like to learn and shit, whatever. But let's say, all right, let's look at the other end of the spectrum, right? Let's say your passion is to paint, Right? Imagine when you was a, think of when you was a child and you just love to draw and paint and make shit, right? You just love to do it. You ain't give a, you know what I'm saying? You don't give a fuck how it look. You just love the fact that you did it. So think of when you made that painting and to other people that painting didn't look so good, right? But to you, you're just like, man, this shit is a fucking masterpiece, nigga. Why? Why is it a masterpiece? Because you was doing what you love. You was doing what you love. That made you happy. You making that painting made you happy. So if you go in the police academy, and, and it may make some people happy. I'm not saying nothing wrong with police academy. I'm just saying it depends on you. What, what, what you want to do, what you love to do. So you making that painting, you're going to be happy with that shit. No matter if it's a Mona Lisa or a fucking piece of shit. And it might be a piece of shit. But guess what? You need to keep working on that piece of shit till it turn into a Mona Lisa. And if it don't turn into the Mona Lisa, at least you're still going to love that shit. You feel me? So that's what I'm saying. Personal fulfillment. It, it no matter what, what it is, man. You can want to be the best damn fucking burger, burger flipper at McDonald's. Nigga, if you flipping them burgers and you getting them shit popping, you know what I'm saying? The fuck everybody else that got something to say about it. If you love it, that's what you just love to do. You just love sad. You love when a when a customer says, "Wow, that's the best damn burger I ever had." Then you keep flipping them fucking burgers. Burgers, excuse me. So self fulfillment. Um, you just you gotta be happy with yourself. Uh, and this this start this blog started off as me just uh, talking about fucking um shit. I'm sorry, y'all. I got bad memory too because I work so many jobs. Me just introducing myself to y'all. Oh, I'm gonna go back to it. I'm 20 years old. I work like 70 something hours a week, y'all. I train, I work out and train, you know what I'm saying? Uh, six, at least, I tra- no, it's been four to, I say four to six times a week. Six is good, four is bad. Um, and that's for track, you know what I'm saying? Some pretty, pretty, pretty good, uh, some pretty solid, uh, Training and I'm I'm gonna talk a little bit about that. You know what I'm saying once, once uh, some time goes by. Um, but yeah, I do that. Uh, I got like nine fucking siblings. I'm the ninth. Excuse me. It's a lot of us motherfuckers though. Nine of us motherfuckers. What the fuck? Why is there a fucking fly in here, bro? And I need to clean my fucking car, bro. I have a hard time with you. That shit's disgusting. I would kill it, but I'm on YouTube. Um, yeah. Um, and I'm a free spirit, man. I I'm gonna show y'all a bunch of my outfits, man. I love to style myself. I want to style people, man, but <laughs> see the thing is when I style when I start styling people, man, they start stealing my shit. <laughs> But I guess, I guess they're not stealing if I'm giving it to them. Anyway, I'm going to show you all my outfits, man. I think I'm pretty fly, but other people might may say I'm not fly. But I like to wear what I like to wear. Right now, most of my shopping is at H&M because that's my job, and I get shit for, for cheap. But, uh, yeah, y'all going to see a, a, a lot of my style, man. I'm a different type of dude. Oh, I'm from New Jersey, if you trying to figure out where my, where my accent's from. I'm from New Jer- Jersey. And if I don't have an accent, it's because I've been in fucking Tennessee for five years. Because my fucking family wanted to move me out here and shit. <laughs> Fuck Tennessee. Nah, I'm playing. Nah, I love Tennessee. Uh, Shout out to everybody in Tennessee. But, 
and, and if I had the choice, I honestly wouldn't even go back to Jersey. I, I'm, I want to move, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm a free-spirited person, so I want to see the world. Um, and uh, hopefully y'all can see the world with me, you know what I'm saying? Maybe, uh, maybe uh, get me out there, help me get out there. And I got tattoos. That, don't ask me what they mean. I don't know, honestly, most of them. I got the Anka on my middle finger. Basquiat crown. I got a fucking triangle. I don't know. Aya uh, Ra. I got Africa, a compass. And then I got... I had to get that so much as Superman. My name's Sabir, like I said. Got the S on my chest so you know I'm the man. Oh, and I also got my name in Arabic, Saber. Because uh, I'm Muslim. And yes, I'm Muslim with tattoos. Uh, if you got comments on that, uh, I really don't care. For... Actually, no, I want to hear your comments on it. Um, I want to hear your comments on it. Please, no, nothing negative, you know, but... Uh, you know, like I said, I'm Muslim, so... Uh, but the way I was raised has just taught me to be open to so many things. So, But all right, I'm about to be late to work, so I'm out. Peace. Yo, follow me. Sabir Muhammad. I'm the new kid in town, man. Yeah, that way.